Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a type of analysis that most modern antiviruses are using nowadays. I'll be breaking down how heuristic analysis works, why it's much better than traditional antivirus scanning, and some of its major downsides. Now, before we get into the video, if you'd like to check out some of the antiviruses that use heuristic analysis, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews in the description and down below on antiviruses I personally recommend along with some discounts. Okay, so before we get into heuristic analysis, let's talk a little bit about traditional antivirus scanning and why it's not effective as it used to be. The way traditional scanning works is that antiviruses have a database of malware that is regularly updated. You have their own team discovering new malware and adding them to the databases, as well as getting some help from antivirus community members. Then the antivirus would scan your system files and folders and run a comparison to see if it finds any code that matches any malware in the database. If it finds a match, it'll warn you, quarantine the file, and terminate it. Now, this is all fine and neat. In fact, it's still needed nowadays. However, this approach is considered a reactive approach to malware. And since around 450,000 new pieces of malware pop up daily, the risk of experiencing a threat is not registered in the database as relatively high. Such a threat is called zero-day malware, where it has been discovered and employed way too fast before antivirus companies could update their database. That's why a reactive approach is not exactly the way to go about this. What you need is a proactive approach, and this proactive approach is heuristic analysis. Most modern antiviruses nowadays run both traditional and heuristic analysis to have a double the protection, especially against zero-day malware. So how exactly does heuristic analysis work? Well, unlike traditional analysis, where the antivirus compares codes and relies on the database, heuristic analysis monitors file behavior and what it's doing on the system. It compares this behavior to common malware behavior instead of code, which means you don't need as many updates as traditional scanning to heuristic database. As I said earlier, this database has a bunch of common malware activity and behavior patterns. Such activities include accessing sensitive data or executing suspicious commands. Now, during heuristic analysis, the antivirus software assigns a risk score to a file program based on its behavior. Files that show behaviors associated with malware receive higher risk scores, and the software may take appropriate action, such as quarantining or deleting the file. Other than that, some antivirus software uses emulation and sandboxing techniques to execute a file in a controlled environment to observe its behavior. This helps identify any actions that might be indicative of malware behavior without posing a risk to the user's actual system. Okay, so with that being said, what's the downside to heuristic analysis? Well, it's nothing too serious to worry about, but heuristic analysis might produce false positives more than traditional scanning and would end up flagging normal files of malware. But considering the trade-off, which is having the best protection possible against threats that are not yet identified, I'd say it's definitely worth it. Besides, you can always dismiss alerts and researchers are constantly fine-turning heuristic analysis to produce much fewer false positives. So to sum it up, heuristic analysis is a dynamic and proactive approach to malware detection in antivirus software. It allows the identification of new and evolving threats based on their behavior rather than relying solely on known signatures. This makes it a valuable component of a comprehensive antivirus program, helping to protect you from emerging and unknown malware threats. And that's basically everything you need to know about heuristic analysis. If you'd like to check out some antiviruses that use such a method, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews as well as discounts in the description down below. Also, if you liked the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments, as I love interacting with you guys. And that will be all for today, and I'll see you in the next one.